maofisa wetu waliumia wengi wa polisi jana. Na nimeona wengine wakati waliona wananchi ambao walikuwa wamechochewa wakaona wataumiza wananchi waka retreat kidogo. Naona wengine wameanza kufanya mzaa. Ndio ya kwamba e, polisi wameogopa wasijui wananchi. Na sijui shida iko wapi kwa sababu polisi waki kabiliana wahalifu wanalaumiwa mmetumia nguvu zaidi waki retreat ili wasiumiza wananchi wanaambiwa ni waoga wameogopa nataka niseme hivi maofisa wetu wa usalama mkae chonjo mkae gangare na msicheke na wahalifu don't joke with criminals deal with criminals family and without mercy na ule mtu atakuja kusumbua maofisa wetu wakiwa kazini tutapambana na huyo mtu lakini vile vile muwe na heshima kwa mwananchi ambaye hana hatia mwananchi ambaye afanyi afanyi mambo ya vurugu msimsumbue lakini mwenye anarusha mawe wengine karibu wavunje equity bank pale pale emali musiwe na huruma na magaidi. Kwa hivyo mimi nimesema ya kwamba serikali ya Kenya haitaruhusu nchi kusambaratika na tutakubali vurugu maandamano ya vita tena. Na tutakabiliana na nyinyi na sasa hawa ambao ni magaidi wa kisiasa tumemaweka katika kudi moja na wale magaidi wengine kuna magaidi wa kidini kuna magaidi wa wawizi wa mifugo all these are terrorists what happened yesterday is nothing short of terror because the whole country was terrified the whole country was fearful women were violated children were violated and then you hear shamelessly leaders blaming the police some of the incidents of violence many of them there was no police officer in sight they were orchestrated planned and unleashed on the people of Kenya by criminals without even the provocation of any 